Hello from Hamburg, the port city and the second largest city in Germany. Um, I'm today here in Hamburg to visit some places. So there are so many challenges for especially international students and one of them is apparently making connections with the people, especially with the local. It's very hard. And I'm here to change that, at least for myself. So this is what it looks like in Hamburg at night. I am currently here in Gadamak. I'm waiting for my train and waiting for my bus to go to the central station of Hamburg. The reason I'm here, as I said in the beginning of the video, that I'm coming here to make some connections with people. Yes, of course, it's hard to make friends with the Germans. I went to the event and you know what? Surprisingly, there were not so many Germans at the events. In fact, I met a lot of people from different countries, especially from South America, Peru, Venezuela, Mexico, and some other places, and also from um, other parts of Europe. So, yeah, um, like I said, one of the things, the hardest things that people, especially international people here living in Germany, face is making friends with the German. But based on what I've heard so far is that when you make friends with a German, they will be your friend for the rest of your life. I don't know, I have no idea because I have not had any person, a German person, who is really my friend so far. Except for my host families and the people that I've known for so long, my good friends from Germany. Of course, before coming here to Germany, I had some good friends. I had some connections before coming here. I made some good connections with, you know, people that I worked with and also my host family and so on before coming here anyway uh, my bus is about to be here in four or five minutes and this is let me show you the life here is more vibrant compared to Wismar but anyway it's Germany you know Hamburg is the second largest city in Germany it's one of the richest cities in Germany where <coughs> millionaires live. Of course, we do not mention Dusseldorf or Munich, but yeah, here people make a lot of money from, let's say, a lot of companies are here, international companies, shipping companies, cargo ships, and those people make money from that, maybe. Now I'm going to go to the Bahnhof. <clears throat> okay, my platform it is platform 8. I still have like 30 minutes from now to go to my platform. Uh, from here to Rutzbis, it's gonna take me about three hours, two hours, but I'll stay there for quite some time before the train leaves for Visma.
Hard decision to make. Get something to eat first. It, uh, it's late at night right now. Everybody's still traveling. Is this? Oh, no, no, no. Uh, Finlandese tomatoes mozzarella. No, that's here. I. And that is? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Accept this. Accept in here in car, huh? Okay. 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 Got a coke, got uh, something to eat, and let's the journey begin. Here is our platform. I am not sure if it goes down. Yes, the ship goes down. Sorry, this elevator escalator goes down. And platform is eight. Oh, come on, there's literally no one here. Where are we going now? It's from here. Or one from here to Dagadorf and to this Slus. And then it will somehow arrive in Rostock. This is not the one. This one just left. Is it Rostock or what? If it goes to Rostock, it should be a good chance that I will be the same thing. By the way, it's the same thing. Okay, I'm now safe at the train station. My train will leave in 25 minutes. And uh, my impression about the event, I would say I would give it 8 out of 10. Um, I like the concept that people have there. And uh, I got to meet people from different countries, especially from maybe Africa. Uh, I have never had some friends from Africa, but now I have friends from Zimbabwe, from Ghana, and those people who are now working in Germany, uh, trying to get better life. But we all have the same thing, fighting with bureaucracy, yeah. slow pace of everything that Germany has to offer, like internet connections and some other things, but the rest is okay. And uh, I hope that I will be able to join such an event next time because they have this here in Hamburg for uh, every week. Uh, I'm not sure if I will be able to make it every Wednesday because I also have some works and stuff. 
Maybe I'll try to make it once in a while and uh, I'll try to make good connections with the people that I met today and uh, yes, I got to know the programs uh, from uh, Couchsurfing, it's where the people who love to travel and they meet each other through the platform and uh, you can find places to stay and so on. Uh, but they also have connections here. Some, uh, in some form, they have connections here with the Facebook page and, and stuff like that. Um, I enjoy it very much, and I think um, it is also a way that I improve my connections. Not just connections, but also improve my German, probably my German language um, language knowledge. I would say. I'm an introvert person and uh, I'd like to challenge myself meeting new people and exchange ideas and stuff like that. Um, it's always something I, I've been fighting for myself because I'm too comfortable. I'm too comfortable living in my own bubble so I don't want that to happen to myself. Maybe it's a good, no, maybe it's a bad influence for me to be so comfortable to myself so yes and uh, if you guys have any suggestions or something that I should do probably here in Germany related to travel or maybe uh, some you know recommendations and stuff like that I'm, I'm willing to try something new but not too dangerous as they need to live my life as well so yeah, it's been a wild night. Um, there were at least 80 people or something. Yeah. yeah. So, traveling late at night. I'm kind of used to traveling late at night here in Germany. I've been traveling all alone for quite sometimes and uh, late night sometimes the trains got cancelled and everything but it is how it is and uh, I have like some more semesters here left to study in Germany and maybe I'll go somewhere afterwards I don't know but this is part of life this is a great experience so far that um, like they said, the it's all about the experience, the directions and everything. Mm. And this is all the experience that I get here in Germany. Uh, somehow it's, it's good, somehow it's, you know, it's also exhausting to be by yourself and stay late at night and miss trains and... Uh, the trains got cancelled but anyway I, I like this so much I like this so much mm. oh they even have SBB here this is what the Swiss people are so proud of alright good morning from Ludwig Plus so here is one of the cities in the Mecklenburg for per month. Actually, the road that goes from here to Wismar only takes like an hour or something. An hour and 30 minutes, but because there's no train that goes at this time, so I will be spending three hours here until four almost five in the morning to go to Wisma. I'm used to this. It's literally quiet right now. No one is here except for me and I think that guy is waiting for someone in the car. 
and it is freaking freaking cold right now ah oh, i could have managed my time better than this um i could have left early so that i could arrive in Wisma early enough maybe at one or two in the morning but i could not because i was already late for the meeting for the event well it took me some time to figure out to go to the place and uh, so i left school so yes i don't want that to happen so i stayed a little bit longer and now i'm paying the price of staying longer which is me right now getting tired and feel left out here at the train station in Ludwigslos. There's no train that I can get in to possibly okay, to possibly stay in. All the trains are left. Oh, this is the worst experience ever I have ever had so far. One of the worst, I would say. Because I've had this before. And now there's another time. One of those times and... You know what? There will be more, more to this, maybe not Germany, maybe somewhere else, or maybe Germany, I don't know. It is summer, by the way, but I somehow do not like this outside, if there had a heater somewhere I would probably go and stay there the weather itself during the day is good but not at this time Containers, a lot of containers on the trains. Uh, maybe food, maybe something, maybe other products. They have evergreen, some Chinese logos, and a lot of containers here. Anyway, I am going to stop recording now.